Du, 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 du. Wait, what? Pause. This is the immersive portal mod. And today we're gonna try and recreate this in our vanilla hardcore world, but with an end portal. All right, first to make this effect work, we're gonna have to find an end portal that's high enough in the overworld so that we can build an entire end island under it. But first we're gonna need some eyes of ender. So... <laughs> That should do. And now it's time to murder a lot of blazes. <laughs> I think there's a blaze spawner down here. Let's go. Um, hello? Is it gonna uh, work? Okay, I think that should be enough. All right, so now let's craft these up. Perfect, and let's get searching. Okay, which way is the closest one? Hmm, I think that's taking us to our old end portal. Let's go a bit further this way. All right, what about now? Perfect. Ooh, it's this way now. Excuse me, Mr. Cow. Oops, I got a bit carried away. God, that is a lot of mobs. I'm gonna make you all kill each other. Yes, fight. Ow, that guy lost. <laughs> Look at that tiny arrow. Ow. Wait, it's going down. That means it must be down here somewhere. How deep does this go? Oh my god, yes. Perfect. And now to find the portal. That is a zombie with a sword. Anything good? Ooh, we will take that. Yes, we found it. And it's got two eyes. Perfect. Wait, what am I on about? We don't even need them. Okay, so we'll break this. And what Y level is this? Minus one. Oh, that's not very high. We're going to have to find another one. One eternity later. All right, I've now found this stronghold, which is a lot higher than the other one, as you can see. Y level 35. So now we need to get digging a big hole underneath this portal so that we can build a giant end island underneath. So first, let's get rid of this lava. Nice. And now we just need to keep digging. This is going to take absolutely ages. I'm going to need my beacon. All right, we've got it. Let's build this thing. Nice. Ah, uh, wait, can beacon beams even go through these blocks? Yes, it actually does. That's pretty cool. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Haste two, please. Oh, this is so much better. All right, guys, I'm just going to keep digging and watching the boys on Amazon Prime. Hashtag not sponsored. It's just a really good show. All right, I've been at this for a while now, but we're not really making much progress and we still have a very long way to go. So I've been thinking of a way to speed this up and I've came up with a very explosive plan. Yeah, we're gonna use TNT. All right, for this plan to work, we're gonna need an absolutely astronomical amount of TNT. So we're gonna have to enter TNT grinding mode. All right, so as you know, TNT requires two things, sand and gunpowder. Oh, there is a raid. Uh, I think they're safe inside of the village of prison. Anyways, sand and gunpowder. So first, we're going to focus on the sand. But lockdown life, how are you going to get hundreds of thousands of gunpowder? Well, that's where this comes in. This is a massive sand duper. All we have to do is put some sand on here, switch these levers on, and it's not working. All right, I think it should be fixed. All right, yes, it's throwing all the sand into the void. And now we wait. Right, so that's the sand sorted. Now for the gunpowder. All right, theoretically, this farm should make 10,000 gunpowder per hour. So let's put it to the test. All right, it's been a little while and we can now tick off gunpowder as well. So let's craft up a bunch of this TNT. There's one shocker of TNT, and another one, and a little bit more. Hmm, now what's the best way of doing this? We need to make it so we can't see any of these walls. All right, let's try just doing a straight line down. Never dig straight down. I am being very smart right now. Okay, there's bedrock. Let's do this. Oh, here we go. All right, it's working. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot more of those. Lol. Ooh, don't mind if I do. Huh? 
Please don't blow up the beacon. Oh no, it broke the beacon. Yes, haste two, let's go. All right, let's keep doing this and see how much progress we can make. I am being murdered. Oh no. We just destroyed a lot of the beacon. Great. Oh, and our pickaxe is nearly broken. Oh my god, this is so loud. Hey yeah. Hey yeah. Perfect. Good as new. Wait a second. All this gold has given me an idea. Last episode, we got a pig army for Technoblade, but we also built him a huge statue. However, as you can see, the statue's crown is fake. It's not even real gold. So we're gonna fix it. All right, first things first, gold. Thank God for this really OP gold farm. We're just gonna sit here and get richer and richer. Let's craft these up. Nice. Okay, so let's turn this crown into real gold. All right, perfect. And now we need to replace the jewels. So for dark blue, of course, we're gonna do lapis. There was literally only one. For light blue, we are going to do diamond. Of course, for green, we'll do emerald. And red, we'll do redstone. Hmm. What are we going to do for purple? Oh, wait. For purple, we're going to use amethyst. And there we go. Technoblade now has a real crown. All right, let's dig this hole. What if we drop the TNT like this? Um, hello? Well, that's half flint and steel gone. What happens if I stand on it and shoot it? Woo! Right, I'm just going to place a bunch of it randomly around. Hopefully this should do a lot of damage. Excuse me, Mr. Zombie. All right, that'll do. Yeah, we should probably leave. Nice. Oh my god, that was close. All right, and let's just carry on doing that. Leave me alone. I'm just trying to place TNT. Stay behind here. All right, this should try and get rid of some of these upper bits. The sound of progress. There is a lot of silverfish. Leave me alone, you little gray bugs. Are silverfish like more like bugs or rats? Let me know in the comments down below. They're kind of ratty. All right, leave your votes in the comments down below, guys. Bug or rat? To be honest, it doesn't matter what they are. They're all going to die to TNT. Uh-oh. We should probably get rid of this water. Are you kidding me? All that water came from this. And no more water. Lol. What happens if you put TNT next to a creeper? Oh. Bad things. Bad things happen. Cover it all. All right. What are the odds this guy has a flame bow? Pretty low considering he just shot that skeleton and he's not on fire. I have a flame bow. Just keep placing. Just keep placing. Why do all my projects require a massive hole in the ground? Oh my god, no! Bruh. Oh my god. All right, lesson learned. Watch out for those guys. All right, we've made a lot of progress now. We're now down to bedrock in a lot of places. So I'm going to get to grinding. And whilst I'm doing that, I'm going to be watching some of my old 100 days videos. All right, guys, it's been absolutely ages. But finally, we have managed to clear out this massive area. But now we have a problem. You see, for this area to look anything like the end, we're going to need the surrounding cave to look like the void, which means we basically need to replace all of those blocks. But which block do we use? Hmm, we could use coal blocks or obsidian, but I kind of want to finish the video this year. So that rules them out. What about purple concrete? No, I think it's a bit too light. And black concrete just seems a bit too smooth 
smooth. Wait, what about black concrete powder? That's got some texture and it's also very dark like the void. Now we just need to get thousands of this block. Luckily, sand isn't the only thing this can duplicate. Nice. And whilst we're waiting for that, we're going to play a game of Solo Bed Wars. All right, so I'm basically doing this for redemption from last episode. If I win, you guys have to like the video. But if I lose, then you can spam L's in the comments down below. All right, let's try something interesting. Wait, are green going to diamonds? Because if they are, they are very not clever. Ah, that did not work. What was I saying about green not being very clever? Oh, no, they were just trying to do that. Why do my keybinds never work? Oh, okay. I, they work that time. Five diamonds, thank you very much. Oh no, I think Aqua might be coming from my base. Let's get a trap. Mine of fatigue and sword. All right, we need to take out Aqua. Oh my God, why am I so bad? Get off the map. Take not back. Okay, watch this, guys. Watch this. Bruh. It didn't work. Yes, let's go. No, please. Please. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. First try. Definitely, definitely first try. That is embarrassing. Why? My... Oh, how did it not work? My keybind didn't work. Oh, they're so laggy. They're so laggy. You guys have to uh, like the video now. Yeah. All right. We're back. We've got the black concrete. Let's get covering this bedrock. Ooh, that's actually looking quite good. Oh, there's going to be so many mobs down here. Wait, I feel like we're wasting a lot of concrete powder in these holes. Wait, what if we use some deep slate to kind of like make it all flat? And then we just put the concrete powder on top. All right, yeah, that seems to work. All right, let's do this. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. This part is really annoying me. It's so hard to see with the concrete. Oh my god. Yes. Finally. There is an army of baby zombies after me. Great. Right, so that's the floor sorted, but now we need to do the walls. And as I was doing this, it occurred to me, how are we gonna do the walls? Because concrete powder has gravity, so it falls, which is gonna make the walls and specifically the ceiling very hard to do. But to fix this, we're gonna take our black concrete powder and dip it in some water to make black concrete, which doesn't have gravity. Oh, and this machine is gonna make it a lot faster. All right, we've got the concrete. Let's build this thing. Oh my God, this is gonna take ages. Ooh, it actually looks pretty good. You can't even tell it's there. That is what we are going for. It's so hard to tell what's going on. Everything's just so dark. Okay, about four movies later, and we finally have our void. This took way longer than I thought. I actually feel so cool just being in here though. Anyways, the next step, we need to build a giant end island inside of here. And for that, we're gonna need end stone. And let's get collecting it. We should have probably brought our beacon here. Perfect. Uh-oh, I've, I've made one angry. Ow. Let's just uh, go under here quickly. He's not gonna win this fight. And haste too. Wait, why does this not feel any different? Eh, maybe it feels a little bit different.
All right, I'm going to be honest. This is still really slow, but luckily I have a massive brain and I think I know a faster way than this. Okay, so there's two steps to this plan. First is to get a bunch of nice. Okay, so the first part of our plan is to place TNT down like this and use it to mine for us. Oh my god. But then we've still got the problem of picking up all these broken blocks. But that is where the second part of the plan comes in. So for this, all we're going to need is some chests, a couple of hoppers, and a note block. Oh, that is a jukebox. Yoink. Perfect. Sorry, I couldn't resist. Anyway, the final part we need is one of them blue flying guys. I think they're also called a laze. And they should be in these kind of things. All right, we need to find pillager outposts that we've never seen before. This is going to take a while. This looks like a prime spot for one. All right, we found one, but I'm not sure if it has an LA or not. No, I don't see one. Oh my God, there's so many pillagers there. All right, let's keep looking. All right, pillager outpost number two. Oh, it's literally empty. That's just, just great. All right, there's an outpost over there. Is it going to be third time lucky? That's the worst cage I've ever seen. If there was one, it might have escaped. Come on. Yes. Oh my God, two LAs. Not going to lie, I have no idea how these guys even work. Will you guys follow me if I... Is that how it works? Let's go. We got the achievement. Oh, there's more. Come on, guys. Let's go. Let's get out of here. I'm going to take as many as I can. No, they're shooting them. Let's run. Oh my God, there's so many. Come with me, guys. Let's go. We're getting like an LA army. All right, come on, guys. Let's do this. Follow me. All right, so we had five LAs and now we have three. Uh, don't ask me what happened, but let's try and get these guys into the end. If I throw these in, yes, it works. Where's the other one? He might have already gone through. They're all here. Okay, nice. We just need to do one final thing. So if we get observers, put them like this. Nice. And some redstone. They should all want to go here and they should drop the end stone here. Finally, three pieces of end stone. Perfect. Okay, let's try this out without the TNT. Are they going to drop it at the thing? Yes, they are. Uh, that is a problem. They're just dropping it on top of it. All right, I think I fixed it. I installed the note block underneath it. And now when I mine this, they drop all the end stone into the actual hoppers. And it should all be collecting down here. Perfect. Okay, now let's use the TNT. All right, here we go. Let's hope the endermen don't kill us probably safer from up here. Wait, that enderman stole our TNT. All right, now, is this actually working? Oh, yes. We had 14 before. That was so fast. All right, come on, guys. Let's get to work. More TNT equals more endstone. It's almost like these guys don't like their home being destroyed. Yes, collect the endstone. We need to be careful not to blow up the blocks on the floor. So I'm going to collect some as well. Watch out. Get out of the way. Uh, that is not a good place for TNT. I swear I didn't place that there. These guys trying to sabotage my operation. It was that guy. Thanks for the TNT. Yes, more end stone. I feel like I might blow myself up. Ooh, that is a lot of endermen. Oh my god! <laughs> Die. Oh, hello hello there. there. All right, our endstone factory has gone pretty well. Our workers are happy and we have loads of endstone. We also have an enderman trying to break our world right now. Let's just take care of that. Perfect. And now it's time to build our end island. All right, first things first, we need to decide what height the island's going to be. Hmm, maybe a bit higher than that. What about this? Oh yeah, I like that a lot more. And now let's do the shape of the island. I think it needs to curl around this way a bit more. Then I think I want this side to be a bit bigger than the other sides.
Well, that's just great. All right, I'm quite liking the shape. Kind of feel like it needs to move that way a bit, though. All right, yeah, I'm liking that a lot more. Excuse me, Mr. Zombie. I want to fill in this island. See ya. I want to try and make it look as realistic as possible. So I'm going to make sure to do different layers of end stone. Yeah, this is not going to end well. Easy. That's the first layer done. Layer number two. Oh my god, four baby zombies. <laughs> it's like they're all on their way to zombie preschool. Not anymore, they're not. Ow. Oh, the parent has come to get revenge. Anyways. And layer three. Now we need to do the sides and the bottom of the island because I don't know many end islands that look like this from underneath. Yeah, we're definitely going to need scaffolding for this. Oh, this is actually so annoying to do. And ta-da! It actually looks like an island. But we're still missing a few things, one of which is the obsidian towers. I'm sorry to have to do this to you, pickaxe, but... One eternity later. All right, let's make sure we put these in the right place. We need to be careful not to make these too tall. I think this is a decent height. Let's see how it looks with a few more. Maybe one over here. Hmm, I think these two need to be a bit more spread out. Oh, I'm going to have to destroy that one. This is so fun. All right, I'm thinking that's looking pretty good, but we are missing the end crystals, so it's time to go ghast hunting. Okay, nice, we got the end crystals. Uh, we have to be careful with these. Why do I actually feel like I'm in the end? Hmm, the ones with the torch on look a lot better than the ones without. All right, and that's all the end crystals. The final thing is the middle portal, and I think deep plate looks the most like bedrock. So, yeah, that's not right. <laughs> There we go. I think that looks pretty good. And with a few finishing touches, that is the project finished. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter for video updates and watch this video next.